Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I wanted to share with you my frog square for the Repeat Crafter Me animal square blanket. <laughs> this is like an impromptu video in my living room. I'm just getting a moment to record. My shirt is dirty from a day worth of kids. It's chocolate <laughs> from June's hands. My hair is probably, but it doesn't matter. I got a moment, so I'm filming. <laughs> Um, so most of my squares for this animal blanket, uh, animal square blanket have been not bright colors, but like, I don't want to say dark colors cause it's not dark colors, but like not bright colors. <laughs> um, so, uh, with my frog, I am actually out of spring green, which is crazy. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know, that's one of my favorite colors and I usually have a lot of it, but I go through it a lot and uh, I'm trying not to like just buy a bunch of random yarn. Um, so I'll, I'll buy it whenever I see, happen to see it again in person. I'll just grab my ball or two. But, so um, I mostly have like dark colors of green in my stash. Uh, except for I do have a few, um, skeins of Red Heart Glow Worm. Which is like a neon green. And I love that color. It's discontinued. And I've been gifted a few balls over the years. And I'm ho hoarding them up for, um, special projects, you know. But, so I went to my stash and I was looking. And I pulled out, I showed another video. I pulled out, um... Red Heart Medium Time and Patty Green. I was going to do the frog in Medium Time and the border in Patty Green. Well, I did the frog and then I started the border and it just didn't look right. It was just, they, they weren't on the same spectrum of colors. So, um, I was like, you know what? I think a brown would go good with that. So, I did go and pick a brown color and this, the brown is a Bernat yarn, I believe, um, for the border. And one thing about the frog's skin color <laughs> and the border that reminds me of a book from my childhood that is uh i think it was toad and frog and i know there's a bunch of stories from in that uh like they have a bunch of adventures they have a bunch of stories with those as the characters the one i sp specifically remember is like they go on a picnic <laughs> but um those two colors for some reason together remind me of toad and frog and then for the eyes it was supposed to be white but because of the colors the, the brown and the green i got Aaron because like an off white it's not a bright white and then for the cheeks instead of using red or pink i got red heart burgundy down and used it so it's all kind of darker colors but i think it came together really cute and uh this is one of my favorite squares i think so far out of the um the january February, march april may the fourth of five that's out so far so here is my frog isn't he cute i did put the eyes a little too close to the green border but he just kind of looks cross-eyed maybe he's about to catch a fly or something maybe a fly just landed in front of him and he's about to catch it but i think he's so cute he's got his little frog feet and legs and these are darker in real life i have a window open well the curtain so um on the camera they look brighter but they're actually you know it's burgundy it's like a dark color and it's just light brown with the green i think it looks cute together and then i did like i said i used the Aaron instead of the white so it's not so bright i do wish i had put his little pupils a little bit further over but it doesn't matter they're already snapped into place and sewed on so um i still think he's cute he's a little cross-eyed but that's okay uh, i'm just gonna pretend that maybe a fly just landed right in front of him and he's about to get it <laughs> But I think he's adorable. This is my favorite square, I think, so far. Let's see here. There was a polar bear, a horse, a lamb. What was the other one? I'm going to have to go dig them out. I can't remember now what the other one was. Polar bear, horse, lamb. Was it a lion? Was there a lion? There was a lion. It was polar bear, horse, lion, lamb, frog. And then, uh, so this is May, so June's will be the third one in the line. And I don't know what it'll be. I just think this is so cute. I did a pretty good job with my tails. <laughs> I did, I was able to weave in the black ones because I weaved them in behind the cheeks so that it wouldn't show through the front. But, I don't know, I just think it's a cute little square. I think he turned out super cute. <laughs> I like him a lot. I think this would be cute to make a bunch of different frogs different colors and like their eyes are going looking in different directions um to make a blanket of just frogs <laughs> i think that would be really cute uh i can't wait to see what the other animals are but that is my frog square it is a free pattern by repeat craft me i'll leave it linked down below she does also do a video tutorial for each of the squares but sometimes the pattern the written pattern and the video tutorial aren't really set at the same time i'm sure they are now because it's later in the month but uh, sometimes, like, she'll get the written pattern out in the beginning of the month, and then a week or two later, she'll get the video out. 
So uh, if you want to go catch up or if you want to just take the squares and make them, like I said, like a bunch of frogs or whatever, go do that because they're free and they're cute. And I used an H hook for all of it, uh, five millimeter, and it's all worsted weight yarn. And I just think it's cute. And I think these safety eyes are um, 12 millimeter, maybe. I think. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I think he's just cute. I just love him. But anyways, that is my frog. So I'm going to go put him with the other four. <laughs> and they'll just be hanging out in there until I figure out what I'm going to do with them. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do just a little tiny blanket. Because if you do it the way she's doing it, it's going to be three it's gonna be four rows of three you know it's, it's 12 all together so it'll be three across three across three across three across and then a border i'm assuming so it's gonna be small like a crib blanket um but what i'm thinking about doing is taking colors from each square and making solid squares to go in between them to make it bigger to like a uh, throw size and um go from there i'm not exactly sure if it's still not like towards the end of the year if it's still not going to be about the size i think i might just keep working on and into the uh, new year what is next year <laughs> 2024 uh and i might make another of each of the squares of the animals but slightly different you know and spread them out throughout the blanket differently <laughs> so it'll just be a big animal blanket you know and then solid squares as well because I, I want it to be kind of bigger because uh, i want it to be functional <laughs> i don't want it to just be like a little tiny baby blanket um so yeah but we'll figure that out towards the end of the year <laughs> but that is my square i will leave it links below if you want to check it out and check out her other ones too because they're all super cute. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.